Hey guys, welcome back to Warnet AI. A couple of days ago, there was a buzzworthy announcement from yet another Chinese technology company, Shangshu Technology. This AI firm, in collaboration with Tang University, unveiled Vidu, China's first text to video AI model. And let me tell you, folks, it's nothing short of impressive. Vidu is capable of generating high definition 16 second videos in stunning 1080 pixels with just a single click. That's right, you heard me correctly, one click and you got yourself a professionally great video. But what's really set Vidu apart is its positioning as a direct competitor to the groundbreaking Sora text to video model. Now what's fascinating about Vidu is its ability to understand and generate Chinese specific content. We're talking about pandas, dragon, everything in between. It's truly remarkable. But enough talk, what you're about to witness is the full demo where they showcase the incredible abilities of Vidu. And let me tell you folks, it's something that's bound to leave you amazed. So without further ado, let's dive into the demo and see firsthand what Vidu is capable of. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. But before this, a brief intro about me. I'm Vernon, the founder of Flourish.ai, an AI consulting and development agency. If your business needs help with AI, the link is in the description below. Now let's dive into the actual demo. This demo has sparked a wide range of reactions and for various reasons. As someone who's quite open to different AI technologies and has explored many video AI generator, I must say this v demo is quite impressive. I have seen some skepticism floating around, but trust me, video generation is no easy feat. Many state of the art models available today struggle with this task. But what we are witnessing here is a significant leap forward. It's a clear indication that China's AI effort are steadily gaining momentum. This week alone has been filled with surprise from China's tech scene. First, we saw a groundbreaking robot that pushed the boundaries of robotics, then an LLM that set new standards in vision system. And now this text to video AI model, which surpasses anything freely available. The demonstration we are seeing here are truly remarkable. It's evident that China is not just keeping up with the global AI race, but is setting the pace. This week's marks a turning point in the landscape of AI innovation and China is leading the charge. Now let's talk about the competition with Sora. One thing you might have missed about this trailer is how the creator strategically positioned certain clips to acknowledge Sora's dominance in the field of AI text to video systems. In one instance, they featured a clip of a woman and a man walking down a busy street at night in Tokyo. The virgin from open eye Sora looked incredibly polished, especially in terms of temporal consistency and overall quality. When Vidu showcased its version, it was evident that they are making strides with their first ever system. While it may not match Sora's level just yet, it's certainly impressive for a debut. And who knows, with future iteration, they could close the gap. Upon closer inspection of the trailer, we can spot several similarities between Vidu and Sora's output. For instance, the motion of the character and the attention to daily in clothing deformation show 
promise in Vidu's capability. Now, there's been some criticism floating around labeling Vidu as mediocre, but let me be clear, this is far from mediocre. In fact, if a Western AI company were to release a system of this caliber, it would likely be hailed as a solar killer. So what we have here is a situation where Vidu shows tremendous potential, yet it's not getting the recognition it deserves simply because it's not widely available yet. But mark my word, with advancement like this, the competition between Vidu and Sora is going to heat up. Let's talk about another demonstration that caught our attention. It's the Land Rover Sora video. Sora released a clip featuring a Land Rover navigating through a picturesque hillscape and it was quite impressive. However, when we compare it to the new Vidu demo, it doesn't quite match up in terms of visual fidelity. But don't get me wrong, it's still quite decent based on what we have seen. One thing Vidu gets right, which other systems often struggle with, is temporal consistency. Take a look at this clip. Notice how the bushes and trees maintain their motion as the scene progresses. It's the attention to details that set we do apart. But I must admit, there are some limitations. Another point worth noting is OpenAI Sora hasn't been released yet. This means that Vidu is operating at the cutting edge of AI technology. When we compare it to the other system like Runway Generation 2, we see a clear difference in temporal consistency. Take a look at this comparison. Notice how the water moves realistically in Vidu demo, while Runway Generation 2 falls short in capturing that natural motion. This level of detail set Vidu apart from the competition. Now let's delve into the architecture behind Vidu. You see, the architecture of Vidu was actually proposed as early as September 2022, predating the diffusion transformer, the DIT architecture used by Sora. This means that Vidu operates on a fundamentally different architecture compared to its competitors. Vidu utilizes what's known as Universal Vision Transformer or UVIT. This architecture is a secret sort behind Vidu's remarkable capabilities. It allows Vidu to create realistic videos with dynamic camera movement, detailed facial expression, and adherence to physical world properties like lightning and shadows. Just think about it. While Sora may be using a tried and tested architecture, Vidu is breaking new ground with the UVIT architecture. And the result speaks for themselves. I mean, creating lifelike videos that adhere to physical world properties, that's no small feat. It's clear that the team behind Vidu has done something truly remarkable. Now let's take a closer look at another example to truly appreciate the capabilities of Vidu. Many skeptics might glance at it and think it doesn't look that impressive. But let me tell you folks, when we compare it to what's currently considered state of the art, it's truly remarkable. For instance, let's compare it with OpenAI Sora. In the clips where TVs are moving around, you will notice a stark difference. With OpenAI Sora, there is a lot of flashing and movement, but it lacks the finesses we are, we are about to witness. Now let's shift our attention to Vidu. Here's where things get interesting. Notice how smoothly the object move around in Vidu generated video. It's almost surreal. This level of precision and fluidity is incredibly challenging to achieve. Here's the kicker. Play close attention to the details. The images stay in place. They don't deform or mesh together. Even with all the motion happening with around them, the TV is more correctly maintaining their integrity. Now I want to emphasize that this isn't about favoritism or bias. It's about recognizing excellence when we see it. And what Vidu has accomplished here is truly remarkable. Reflecting on the incredible advancement we have witnessed today, it's truly mind boggling to think that about how far we have come in such a short span of time. Just an year ago, AI videos were a far cry from what we are seeing now with Sora and the latest technologies like Vidu. The rapid pace of innovation is simply astounding. With architectures involving and decades of research culminating in these breakthroughs, it's clear that we are entering an era of accelerated progress and China, it seems, is leading the charge. Their strides in AI technology exemplified by Shang Shu's Vidu are nothing short of remarkable. Consider this, while Sora, a state-of-the-art model, is accessible to only a select few in the film industry, Vidu's capabilities are poised to revolutionize video content creation on a much broader scale. The speed and efficiency of Vidu's rendering process, coupled with its ability to generate high-quality videos in a single 
single click are game changing. Looking ahead, it's evident that the competition in the AI landscape would only intensify. China's rapid advancement may prompt other countries like the USA to accelerate their own AI development efforts. We are on the brink of an AI race where innovation and development will shape the future landscape of the technology. So what are your thoughts on this groundbreaking technology? Personally, I find it both impressive and somewhat surprising. It's been a remarkable week for the AI industry, particularly in China, as we navigate this ever-evolving technological landscape. One thing is certain, the future of AI holds endless possibilities. With that, I will leave you to ponder the implication of these advancements. Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section below. I'm eager to hear what your thought on this game-changing technology. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep exploring the frontiers of AI. This is Vernon AI signing off. Thank you so much.